Hi guys, Ash47 here and welcome to a quick tutorial for They Are Billions. So in today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to use the data editor that we've coded up. So the data editor lets you make custom units and edit the attributes of other units. First thing you want to do, you want to jump onto the They Are Billions mod kit GitHub repository, which is one of the repositories on my GitHub account. And then if you come down to the clone or download button, go ahead and click that and then go download zip and then save that onto your computer and extract it. Okay, so we've downloaded the copy of the GitHub repository. And we've gone ahead and extracted that. So you've got they are billions mod kit dash master. So this is all the stuff that comes with it. So there's a few interesting things here, but specifically today we're looking at the data editor. So if you jump inside there, there's a whole bunch of things in here. So the thing we're interested in is install modules. But the only thing is, this won't install unless you install Node.js. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to Node.js.org and download a copy of that and install it. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is download a copy of Node.js. So if you go to Node.js.org, and then what I'd recommend is the latest version. So current basically. So that's 8.9, 9.5. It doesn't matter which version you get. Either version will work, but I'd just recommend 9.5 because it's newer. You click on that and then you can save that. Okay, so Node.js is finished downloading and we've opened the installer. So we're just gonna go next. We're gonna accept the terms of the license agreement. We're gonna press next. You can install it wherever you like. We'll just leave it as the default. C drive program files Node.js. We're gonna go next. Now the most important thing here is this option here, add to path, which is selected by default. So you won't need to touch anything. And of course you'll need the NPM package manager. So node package manager, you're going to need that. So leave that installed, uh, pretty much just leave it as it is. And you'll, you'll get everything that you need. So hit next and finally install. Go ahead and accept the UAC prompt and that'll install. Okay, that's installing. There we go. That's successfully installed. So just hit finish and that's the end of the node.js setup. So now if you come back to your they are billions mod kit master folder. We have a whole bunch of options here. So the most important one to run first is install underscore modules. So just double click that. And then you can see installing modules using NPM. So that's the thing we just talked about before, node package manager. So you can see installed a whole bunch of stuff that says you should now have a node underscore modules folder. Yes, we do. If you don't have a node modules folder, please ensure you install the latest node.js version. and tells you where to download node.js.org slash en. Cool. So we have a node underscore modules folder and we have this input folder. So if you jump into the input folder, what you need to do is put your ZX rules.dat. So you can get that from your game directory. So if you open steam slash steam app slash common slash they are billions. And then inside there, there should be ZX rules.dat. So let's, let's go ahead and copy that in there. Okay, so we've put a copy of ZX rules.dat in there from the game directory. And what you want to do, you want to click on this. You can either right click and go rename or you can click it twice slowly like that. And change it to dot zip like that. Are you sure you want to change the file extension? Yes, we're sure. That's fine. And there we go. ZX rules .dat .zip. Now, if you just right click on that and you can go extract all, you'll get a little pop up here. Are you sure you want to extract this? Yes, we're sure we want to extract. And then again, you're going to get another pop up. Drag this over. It says ZX rules .dat is password protected. Please enter the password into the box below. So the password you're going to use for this. So if you come back to the they are billions mod kit github and then you come all the way down scroll all the way down until you reach data editors and then it says these files are simply zip files you need to extract using the password this so including the minus sign go ahead and select all of that and just copy that okay come back to the password prompt paste the password in press ok and there we go so zx rules.dat is now extracted so this is just an xml file what we need to do we need to convert this into a file we can actually use. So we're going to go right click. We're going to go send to. We're going to go compress zip folder like so. And there we go. So now we've got ZX rules.zip. Now we're going to go control X. So we're going to cut that. And we're going to put that back into the input folder. We're going to paste it back in here. And then we're going to rename that to ZX rules.dat. But first we have to quickly delete this folder because there can't be two files or folders named the same thing. So we'll go ahead and delete that. So now we can rename this to ZX rules dot dat. That. And yes, we're sure we want to change it. There we go. So now we have the ZX rules dot dat file. We can delete the zip file. So now just one quick thing. If you couldn't see dot zip or dot dat at the end, if you go view, and then you can see over here, hidden items, file extensions. So you need to turn on file extensions. So if I turn that off, you can see the file extension disappears. And then you actually need to have file extensions turned on. So that's that's the Windows 10 view. So if you're using Windows 7, I think you need to press the Alt key like this. 
And then there will be another menu that pops up here. You need to click onto tools and then go folder options. And then inside there in one of the tabs, there should be file name extensions. So it's a lot easier in Windows 10. So just again, the view menu and then file, file name extensions like that. Okay, so now that we've got this in the correct format, we can do, we come out of here and we can go run, run.bat like so. So you can see how it does a whole bunch of stuff. So there's a processing XML, done parsing, processing ZX rules, done processing ZX rules, rebuilding ZX rules, done rebuilding ZX rules. Awesome. So you can see there's a whole bunch of new directories. We have output and working. So if we come into working, you can see we have ZX rules.dat.json now. So this is the really important one. If you open that up. Okay, so that's open. And now you can see this is this is the file that we just opened. So we're using Sublime Text 3. That's what I'd highly recommend you'd use. And you can use Notepad++. That's another one. Notepad itself is kind of ugly. So my recommendation is Sublime Text 3. But it's just a text file, so you can use whatever you like, really. So you can see there's a whole bunch of interesting stuff here. If you come all the way down, like this, you can see there's all different things here. So you can see Tech Advanced Query. It says panel position is 1, available for Foundry. Building time factor. So this is how long it'll take to build. So if you come across, building time factor is one. So if you want to make it go build a hell of a lot faster, I think you can just lower this value. So it could be like 0, 0,001. So that's one weird thing about this format, by the way. They use a comma instead of a decimal point, which is really confusing. And then you can see the gold cost for this, 1,500. So I think what you'd probably be more interested in is an actual unit. So we'll just go on control F and we're going to search for a ranger. So here's a ranger attack. So this is basically what happens when a ranger attacks. So you can have, a, you can kind of read this and it makes some sense. Usable through walls, yes. So that means it'll shoot over a wall. Action range is six. So it'll, it'll shoot six units along. Damage type is an arrow. It does 10 damage. It takes 500, I'm guessing that's milliseconds to load. It takes 1000 milliseconds or one second to shoot. And then 500 milliseconds to unload. And then this is what I was talking about with the commas. So that's 0.2. Time factor action 0.2. And then you can see projectile speed is 12. So if we increase that projectile speed, the arrow would go a hell of a lot faster. And then you can see here, ranger attack veteran. So this is what a veteran would do. So you can see these are just more buffed values. So like time action is 500, as in comparison before it was 1000. So it takes only 500 milliseconds, so half a second instead of an entire second to attack. So you can see the veteran ones become a lot more powerful. So let's again search for ranger. And it's come down a bit. Here's the actual ranger unit. So this is just double quote, ranger, double quote. If we have a look, the key for the ranger is if you press Q, panel position is one, nature is empire, not a big deal. Level and power, not a big deal. Experience the veteran. So if you wanted to get the veterans sooner or later, you can change that. So they require 60 experience to become veteran. They have 60 health. Um, they have one armor, the life regen factor. If you wanted to regen health really quickly. So that's 0.02. Again, they're using a comma instead of a decimal point. This is really weird. The walk speed, 0 0.5 units. I'm guessing that's per second. They have the run speed, mass, height. There's a whole bunch of different things here you can change. So just go through it and you can figure these things out. Here we go. Here's some interesting stuff. Gold cost, 120. Wood cost, 2. Gold gen, negative 1. Can enter buildings, yes. Can travel, yes. Can stop, can patrol, can chase. So you can change practically anything you're interested in here. And if a property doesn't exist, you can literally just copy and paste it from somewhere else and stick it in here, as long as you have the same format. So that's roughly how you go about doing editing. So let's go ahead and close that. So you save that. You save this file here. You come up a directory, and then you go to run.bat. Run that again. Awesome. It says it's done rebuilding the ZX rules. Awesome. If you go into output folder, we have this ZX rules.dat file. What you want to do is take a copy of this and paste that into your game directory. You can optionally back up your old ZX rules.dat file or you can just replace it with this one. So this one will fully work with the game and it'll have all your modifications in there. And then if you ever actually lose your copy of ZX rules and you need it back, if you go into your Steam and then right click on the billions and go properties, you can go local files and then you can go verify integrity of cache and that'll let you basically restore the ZX rules files and all the original game files. So that's a really quick tutorial on how you actually use the data editor. So that allows you once again to make custom units and change all the attributes on existing units. So if you have any questions regarding this process, leave us a comment down below and we'll get straight back to you. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you let us know down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and have a good day. See you in the next one.